Hey, what's up, guys? Mike Red Fox. I just got my first ASIC. So this is courtesy from Chris over at miningsyndicate.com. I'll leave links down in the description below to Mining Syndicate. Please check them out if you're looking for anything and everything ASIC related. So I'm really excited to dive into this. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get this opened up. So uh, you guys know I'm a GPU miner at heart. That's everything I have. I've done CPU mining, but I've never, and I've done FPGA mining, but I've never done ASIC mining before. And so I'm really excited to be able to learn and participate because I just love mining. I just love mining of all types. So let's open this up and see what we have inside. Take out the protective packaging here. Whoa. All right. I'm going to give you a, <laughs> I'm going to give you the top down look here. Look at this. Over, I'm going to get to the overhead. Look at this. Look at that. Package in there. We got an Avalon Miner 1066 Pro 55 Terahash is what it says on the label right there. So let me get this out of here and we'll check it out a little bit further. So just in case, Oh, this is so heavy. <laughs> oh, so just in case you're new to mining or haven't really heard about ASIC mining before, uh, ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit Miner. And it's really good at doing one thing. Whereas a GPU is a jack of all trades and ASIC is a master of one trade. So let's check this thing out. Man. So this is a used Avalon miner. You can check it out there. See the fans on this thing. Power supply right here. But uh, what a beast of a machine. This thing is so heavy. I cannot wait. So we got to do a little bit of learning about this. I looked uh, to get some of the specs on it because I got to figure out how I'm going to power this thing, which I think I figured out. And I think I have the right things on hand. But I'm going to look at the specs on this. And why don't we do this? Why don't I switch over to the computer and I'll pull up some information about this ASIC so we can learn a little bit about it together. And then I'll figure out how I'm going to get this thing powered up, get it mining, see how loud this thing is, figure out how to mine to a Bitcoin pool because I've never done that before. Uh, but this should be a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys in one sec. All right. So I'm over on miningsyndicate.com. Again, thanks, Chris, for sending this over to me. Appreciate it. Uh, and you guys check out this website if you're interested in ASIC miners of any type. But the one that we have here is this used Avalon 1066 55 terahash. And what I was looking at is like power. How do I power this thing? Because you can see it takes 3,400 watts, which just to put that in perspective is 28 3070s mining Ethereum. Okay, so this thing takes a lot of power. And so I went over uh, and found the user guide for this specific miner just to see. So you can see this is the plug that it takes. That's a C19 there. And the thing I was wondering was, can I just plug this into my existing um, PDUs and will it work or will it not work? And so what I wound up looking at and finding is the power supply AC input is a 16 amp max. And the PDUs that I have have two banks, each being 15 amp max. So if this thing pulls over that, I'll trip the breaker on those PDUs, uh, which means that those won't work. So what I needed to do is figure out an alternative solution. So I'll show you what I came up with, which is uh, a big thanks to the community and my Discord for helping me out find a PDU and how exactly I'm going to power this. So let me show you that. So when I'm getting this trip light PDU uh, to power this miner, you can see it has the C19 outlets on the back there, ends in the familiar L630 plug there. And then I got a C19 cable to plug one into the other. And that's it. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to get all of this plugged in and we'll check out how loud this thing is, how to configure it, get it set up to a pool and start mining with it. Okay, here we go. I have noise suppression turned off on the microphone so we can hear this thing. I have everything wired up, but I want to do the first actual power on live with you guys. So here we go. Let's see what this thing is made of and then we'll figure out how the heck to configure it. Power's in, switch is on.
There it is. First ASIC miner. Uh, looking good. So I think I could switch this around here. You guys check it out. Hopefully you could hear me. But power, Ethernet's in. Got a green light ready to go there. This thing is moving. So I have to figure out what IP address this thing has so I can access it and then set it up and get it mining. So I'm gonna do that. This Avalon miner is rolling. So I'm at the dashboard for the miner. So once you boot it up, it's gonna just join your network via DHCP. And what you need to do is just use like a network scanner to find the IP address that it has been assigned. And then you can come over put that IP address into your URL bar and it will bring you to the dashboard to set up the miner. So it's been mining right now for about an hour and you can see the average hash rate that I'm getting right now, 55 terahash, which is actually a little above what this miner should be doing. 55 is what it's designed to do. So that's really cool. You can see all my accepted shares here, some other information about the miner. What I needed to do is come over to the configuration and I need to add the pool in and then two backup pools to mine to. The other thing you can do is come down here and there's an advanced configuration for a normal mode or high performance mode. High performance mode is going to pull a little bit more wattage, but also give me the higher hash rate on this ASIC. So I'm choosing to do that right now. So let's jump over onto F2 pool and take a look at the miner there. So this is the pool I chose to mine to. I'm going to give this a refresh. It's been about an hour, but it is taking a while for the hash rate to catch up. It, I can see it going up a little bit and a little bit, but it'll average out to match the same exact hash rate that is displayed here in the minor configuration site. Now, the last thing we should talk about is profitability of this ASIC. So let's head over to what to mine. I have entered in the amount that it is doing in terahash, which is 55. And then the wattage that it's doing, actually, let me show you. So I have this ASIC plugged into the meter box right now. And you can see pulling 3,360 watts at the wall. So switching back over here, I have that entered into what to mine for Bitcoin's SHA-256 algorithm. Running 10 cent electric rate and just current profitability and difficulty. You can see on Bitcoin pulling in profit, almost $12 a day in Bitcoin in profit, uh, which is no complaints by me, but you can see how much we're also burning in electricity to get this thing mining and keep it mining Bitcoin. So yeah, uh, let's just wrap this one up. All right, it's off. This thing is so loud. I couldn't hear myself think, couldn't hear myself talk. Uh, that being said, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this machine. Big thank you again to Chris over at miningsyndicate.com for sending this over. Please check them out. Link is in the description below if you need anything ASIC related. But yeah, I absolutely love this thing. Being able to support the Bitcoin network directly is so exciting to me. I love Bitcoin, but in all of my time in mining, it's been dominated by ASICs, so I've never been able to mine it directly. And now I finally can, and it's profitable to do that. So my next steps. I got to find a permanent home for this thing because it can't stay right here. I'm in the basement. It's not too loud upstairs, but I do all of my filming down here. So I definitely can't have this thing on making noise while I'm doing that. So what I'm thinking is I have an attached garage on the complete opposite end of my house where I have some rigs in right now. I think this is going to move out there. I just need to run a 30 amp circuit so I can get it all powered and ready to go. When you think about ASIC mining versus GPU mining, pretty straightforward to see the pros and cons to each. First, this ASIC is loud. It puts off a ton of heat and it takes a ton of power, right? It's designed to be in a commercial industrial space and you can't shame it for that. That's just what it's built to do. Whereas a GPU, a gaming GPU, you know, it's designed to be in a PC, in somebody's house, in somebody's bedroom. And so it's not that loud. It takes the appropriate amount of power for what it's designed to do. And of course, us monitors, us GPU monitors, just stack them up in rigs and all that. And we have to figure out how to get rid of the heat and keep the noise down too. But I absolutely love this thing. I am super grateful to have it. And I cannot wait to keep mining Bitcoin directly. I would love to hear from all of you. 
Do you have an ASIC miner? Let me know down in the comment section below. Have you ever mined an ASIC miner? Which one do you have? I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more ASIC mining content. Jump in my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.